Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear us, God, our Savior, that as we rejoice in commemorating the Virgin Blessed Mother Teresa, we may be instructed by her loving devotion through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is widely reported that there is immorality among you, and immorality of a kind not found even among pagans, a man living with his father's wife. And you are inflated with pride. Should you not rather have been sorrowful? The man who did this deed should be expelled from your meads. I, for my part, although absent in body but present in spirit, have already, as a present, 
pronounce judgment on the one who has committed this deed in the name of our Lord Jesus. When you have gathered together, and I am with you in spirit, with the power of the Lord Jesus, you are to deliver this man to Satan for the destruction of his flesh, so that his spirit may be saved on the day of the Lord. Your boasting is not appropriate. Do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Lead me in your justice, Lord. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. You hate all evildoers. Lead me in your justice, Lord. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lead me in your justice, Lord. But let all who take refuge in you be glad and exalt forever. Protect them, that you may be the joy of those who love your name. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a certain Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely to see if he would cure on the Sabbath so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he, re he realized their intentions and said to the man with the withered hand, Come up and stand before us. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life, rather than to destroy it. Looking around at them all, he then said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. I have to confess that when I was in, the, in my elementary, siguro mga grade 5 or grade 6, no? I was one of the apolobleayo na mga teacher ko. 
Sabi pa nga nila, isa daw ko sa mga pet students. No? And one of my perks, no? privileges bilang pet student, no? kapag umaalis yung teacher, no? ang gagawin sa akin ng teacher ko, he would request me to sit in front of the table, no? parang nagtiteacher-teacheran, no? at sabi ng teacher ko, ilista mo kung sinong maingay. No? Mga noisy students, no? Kaya mga tipong unruly pag wala ang guro. No? Siyempre, no? ako naman, being obedient person that I was, no? at para bagang right hand ng teacher, I would obey. No? At this one time, sabi ng tita ko, no? dumaan ako sa classroom ninyo, ba't ikaw ang nandun, nakaupo sa harapan? No? And I was laughing. No? Kasi as a kid, no? I didn't know better, no? Akala ko mas okay no? mag-teacher-teacheran, no? mag-matsyag, at maghanap ng mali. Tapos isumbong ito sa guro. No? Teacher, no? A kid's mind. Why am I telling you this, my dear brothers and sisters? In our gospel reading today, it appears that that is also the very attitude of the Pharisees and the scribes. They know that Jesus has power. They know that Jesus is around teaching in the synagogue. However, they have the higher you know, authority being the scribes and the Pharisees. At para sa kanila, kapag araw ng pamamahinga, bawal gumawa ng milagro. Para sa kanila, kapag alaw ng pamahinga, hindi dapat magtrabaho kahit gumawa ng milagro. But somehow, Jesus wanted to clear this statement. No? Gusto niyang i-purify no? na mali ang inyong pag-iisip. Mali ang inyong pag-interpret sa batas. When there was a withered man there, no? ang kanyang kamay ay siguro um, tawag dito, um, handicap, PWD. No? Tinignan nila ngayon kung may gagawing milagro si Jesus. At lo and behold, yun nga ang ginawa ni Jesus. Pero Jesus stated, no? He first asked, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But for them, since they have this prejudice no, na dapat bawal gumawa ng kahit ano tuwing araw ng pamamahinga, kahit gumawa ng milagro, hindi pwede. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, we could be at times be you know, like these Pharisees and the scribes. Anong tawag dito? Fault finder. Hindi ba? Mas nakikita natin yung mga mali sa iba. Kesa makita yung kabutihan. No? We are simply projecting no? that we are a lot stricter. No? Kagaya ko nung bata ako, no? noisy students, ililist pa kita. No? And sadly, most of us is yet to mature. Hindi pa nagmamature, no? at parating tinitingnan ang kamalian ng iba. Pero you see, when we find fault always no, sa ibang tao, it just goes to show na mas stricto pa tayo sa Diyos. It just goes to show na we could be a lot harder, no, twice as much stricter to ourselves. Hindi humaling, hindi maling sumunod sa kautosan ng Diyos. However, it must not supersede the much greater law of God. At ano yung batas na yun? Batas ng pagmamahal. Batas ng compassion. Batas na concern ako sa iyo. And this is where the Pharisees and the scribes were lacking. Nakita na nila nakaawa-awa yung lalaki. Nakita na nila na PWD, 
PWD, no? Yung kasama nila sa templo, pero hindi, no? Mali ang magpagaling. Labag sa batas ang gumawa ng milagro. Today, for our Holy Mass, no? may we be inspired through the intercession of Mother Teresa no? na parating pinipili ang magmahal. Parating pinipili ang magkaroon ng compassion no? sa mga taong nakikita niya na kalunos-lunos ang sitwasyon sa buhay. No? Doon sana umantig no? ang ating puso sa ating pagninilay ngayon, we check our capacity to have simple, pure compassion towards other people. And not so much being so righteous, fault finder. Dahil ibig sabihin lang nun, we mas stricto pa tayo sa Diyos. Ibig sabihin lang nun, we are twice as strict towards ourselves. Let us enable our hearts no, to beat towards people who we see no, around us. Amen. Please stand. For us Christians, there is no higher law than the gospel command of loving God and neighbor. Let us affirm this belief as we pray for the needs of each member of the church. As we say, make us life-giving, O Lord. Make us life-giving, O Lord. That the church may always be renewed and purified by the words of Christ's gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Make, Make us life-giving, life O Lord. Lord. That those in authority may be guided by wisdom when making decisions and setting priorities. Let us pray to the Lord. Make, Make us life-giving, life O Lord. Lord. That our worship may reflect our sincerity and dedication to the humble service of God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Make, Make us life-giving, life O Lord. Lord, that we may bring hope to the despairing and comfort to the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Make, Make us life-giving, life O Lord, Lord, that the dead may now rest in the company of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Make, Make us life-giving, life O Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. Heavenly Father, you search our hearts and you know our innermost thoughts. Inspire our hearts for more sincere worship and our hands for more willing service to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Mother Teresa, we humbly implore your Majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Mother Teresa, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, has said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turns us away from the cares of this fleeting world, so that following the example of blessed Mother Teresa, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by living a holy life. Thanks be to God. Be Yeah.